Good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to thank all of you for being here this afternoon. I'm overwhelmed by the honor you have extended to me simply by being here. I'm also grateful for Hare International School for having made today possible for me. Without the inspiration from Hare faculties, I would not be who I am. Rather than someone you see on stage right now, I would have been no more than an academically recognized student with little sense of anything else besides myself. However, Hero teachers had given me a new way of looking at the world. I came to realize that academic excellence alone cannot make someone whole. One also needs to be aware of her social responsibilities as a crucial part of being a complete individual in society. That was a starting point four years ago when I started doing community services at school. As I continued, my appreciation of social works grew more and more. In 2010, I established the Lionheart Society with a group of friends with the aim to carry out children-initiated community service projects. Under the encompassing umbrella of the Lionheart Society, there are numerous projects in our care. These projects have given me wider exposure to the life of the rural poor, their plights and hardship, which are obvious. More profound than that, however, I discovered that despite their dire economic circumstance, there is almost no incident of starvation and relatively few cases of malnutrition in rural Thailand. The answer lies in the reliance upon locally available food and nutrition sources. These can be easily gathered and are available free of charge. This was an initial spark which led to my research called the Poor Land of Plenty, edible insects and other natural sources of nutrients. In that research, I had provided tangible empirical evidence demonstrating the fact that many of these foods are nutritionally richer than many of our conventional metropolitan food. Realizing the fact that these resources are exhaustible, I also aim to promote their sustainable use, including cultivation where possible. These methods are found to be cheap and simple, easily replicated anywhere in the world where geographical conditions and climates are similar to that of Thailand. As we are all aware, the global population has grown and continues to grow at an accelerating rate in this biosphere. The threat of famine and minor food shortages is ever-present and is of particular concern in poor countries. When we come to appreciate the fact that insects are one of the most numerous organisms on Earth and the fact that they can be found almost anywhere on this planet but the answer is obvious. Insects can indeed be a nutritional goldmine for the global community in the long run. With the kind assistance from Nanmi Books, I have written these little books you're witnessing today. They are simplified English and Thai versions derived from my research, The Poor Land of Plenty. These books are aimed at poor rural communities both in Thailand and abroad. Such communities may be diverse and may be located in the far reaches of the earth, but the utility of these little books are simple. If these food sources are available, there is no cause for starvation or malnutrition. The language used is simple. The illustrations are colorful and attractive for young readers. To promote a much wider distribution, I would like to solicit donations of these books. With your help, these books can be made available to poor rural families through different organizations and government agencies, such as the Thai Red Cross, the Royal Thai Navy, police border patrol schools, as well as international humanitarian organizations. I would like to extend my thanks and heartfelt appreciation to Nami Books, Mr. Farley, Mr. Vandenberg, Mr. Forbes, Mrs. Brin, Mr. and Mrs. Prout, Mr. Machin, and everyone at Harrow Faculty who has always believed in me.
thank you, Kulung Bishib, Kung Fatu, and my family for the support they've given since the beginning of the project. Finally, I would like to end with quoting a passage from the back of my book. I believe that education is gained both inside and outside the classroom. Being able to apply in real life situations what has been learned in school is without doubt a more effective way of putting this knowledge into practice. The future of the country depends on the present generation, its actions, ideas, and decisions. By moving forward, embracing change, and accepting social responsibility, Thailand may see a better and brighter future. Thank you.